going on, everybody? It's Big T back with another episode of Daisy. Last time we left off, we actually survived for an entire episode. Come on now. Got to... You gotta slap the like down there for that one. That, uh, that's that's not common around these parts. That's not common that we survive um, for an entire game. And we left off at the airfield where we find ourselves now. And we're pretty, I mean, I'm not like, I'm not geared to the tits, but I'm kind of geared to the tits right now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. Um, and so I think I'm ready to head back to um the devil's the devil's den uh the northwest airfield because i've, I've got enough now to oh boy yeah okay. is this really a good scope to have on the bison for an smg i just don't know what if i took what is that oh found some boxed rounds what if i took this scope moved it over here can I put this scope on the SK? Can't do it. Semi-automatic carbon, SKS, OCA, second service for decades. Yeah, I just don't know. Just don't know if I want that, that scope on it. Oh! Oh, <laughs> dog, if I would have died, I would have been so fucking mad. How do you even heal a broken foot? Oh my God, I gotta Google this shit. Broken foot, Daisy. How to, to properly fix? You have to craft a splint, four rags, and two short sticks. How long does it take to heal a broken leg after using? Oh no! Crawl to a safe place, apply a splint, make a fire, and get some yummy food. Any food you can find. Oh, brother. Um. Hold up, I got some crackers. I don't think that's gonna do much. Um, rags and a splint? Okay, hold up. I could do this. I could do this. Um, I just gotta use my brain. So in order to craft rags, we're gonna want, I might not even have a fracture. Maybe that's, maybe that's just a sprain. Cause I'm still moving. You know what I mean? Like relatively, relatively okay. Um, I was gonna see if I could find like a shirt or something and see if I could tear it um, into rags, but maybe we might be good. We might not, we might not have to do that. Can I crawl through this window? Jump through that bitch. Okay, he's not gonna do it. Either way, um, we are leaving the airfield here and we are going to make our way to the northwest airfield through the cover of night because i believe that'll be the uh the safest way to get there so i'm gonna just fast forward and and take off running and then hopefully by the time the daytime comes back up We'll be good to go. I can find some night vision goggles too. That'd be sick. I would love, I would love to have some NVGs and play this shit at night. Um, and like actually be able to to run around and not feel helpless. That, that would be fantastic. But if we're gonna find NVGs, it's gonna be at the Northwest Airfield. So here we go. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I thought looking at the map, that those two you see that you know uh place over there where the care package was that's where we just came from damn they dropped a care package where i just came from and then you see over here the northwest uh military which actually a helicopter just crashed at the northwest airfield um so i, I probably need to check that out you look at that and think ah, i'll just run <laughs> dog i just ran how long is this my recording's been going for 40 minutes, and I think I took off running at the six minute um, mark. I just ran for 35 minutes, half of which was in complete darkness. I heard a fucking bear in my thing, and I just kept running though. I just kept running, and it didn't, uh, and it didn't get me. That that was a 35 minute run, um, and I'm still not even there yet. I'm I'm getting closer, but that. 
that is a long way. That is a long way. So if I run over here and die first thing, I'm going to be upset. I might just end the video. <laughs> it might be a quick one if that happens. Um, damn. Yeah, that uh, that's my that's my old commute to college. Mark treated Jones, bro. About 35 minutes. At the, yeah, that, that was my, my commute to class for the first couple of semesters, at least, before I, I moved into an apartment up there. After COD XP, of course. I was able to get myself a nice $750 a month apartment in Jonesboro, and that is upper end, upper end apartment living in Jonesboro. It's just crazy how much things cost now. Like, e everything across the board, dude. Like, homes, vehicles, food, uh, medical thing, like, everything is just through the roof. Like, I understand inflation, you know, has always been a thing. But, like, it has been so exaggerated over the last couple of years. And the worst part about it is prices don't ever go down. Like, you hardly ever see deflation. The rate of increase has come down a lot. You know what I mean? But the cumulative inflation for things like groceries, it's up, like, 30 to 40% over the last four to five years, man. I think about that apartment that I had for 700 but I mean, I don't know what it goes for now. It's still Arkansas, so it's probably, yeah, I mean, it's cheaper than most places, but, like, it definitely ain't $700 anymore. And housing, even, like, assets, bro. Stock market. I've been watching videos of, uh, y'all ever heard of Gary Stevenson? you probably never heard of Gary Stevenson, but he runs a YouTube channel called Gary's Economics. And I thought he was interesting because he was actually a former trader. He's a trader for Citibank and made the bank like hundreds of millions of dollars made, you know, millions of dollars for himself <clears throat> at the time and was one of the, the youngest and most successful traders for the bank at the time. This is like the 2010s and he retired and he quit. And uh, now he dedicates most of his time, apparently, to fighting wealth inequality. And he talks about, you know, a lot of things that like people you hear about and you think about and like you kind of know, but you just you really don't grasp the scale of it and the um, the um, how fast it's coming wealth inequality like it's it's scary bro it's scary for people starting out I think about my daughter and like it's just we are increasingly becoming and it's always been this way but like I said, the last four to five years, you really start to see it and feel it. Um, and I'm just afraid that it doesn't get better. You know, it's just the prices of every like if you don't own assets, like it's quite literally an asset economy where the wages that you make, the income that you make, it's important. Don't get me wrong, but it's so much less important than the assets that you own. And if you didn't own assets, you know, before like COVID, the, the prices of everything, including, you know, like asset inflation, the price of homes, the price of stocks, the price of all of these things has just gone astronomical. And I'm like, I'm genuinely concerned, especially after watching a lot of his videos that like, what if it doesn't go back to the way it was? You know what I mean? A lot of people think, and I think it's needed, but like, what if housing prices, what if they just don't go down? You know what I mean? He talks a lot about like how the, you know, just the entire like strong middle class system is very much like, you know, over the past 70 to 80 years, like that was abnormal. Like having the ability to like, you know, just be an average person, an average worker, go out and get an average job and be able to afford an average home, you know, and live that like happy middle class lifestyle. That was like not a thing for thousands and thousands of years. And, you know, it, it was a very past 70 to 80 years type of thing. And so that was kind of the anomaly. 
You know what I mean? And it, it would just be honestly like terrifying to go back to the other way. And when you really read about and think about like how much wealth, super wealthy people have, you can even be well off, you know, and make, you know, six figures a year and have, you know, six figures, seven, even seven figures worth of assets. You're a, you're a peon, bro. Like so small on the overall scale of, um, wealth distribution, like the amount of wealth that super wealthy people have, you know, hundred million, 500 million, billion plus, you know, the, the passive income that that generates, which then, you know, in turn allows them to buy more assets and pushes the prices up of, of everything. Eventually they'll own everything. They'll own everything. If it's not stopped, how do you stop it? I don't know. I have no idea. But it's uh, it's definitely something to something to think about and be concerned about. And scary, scary shit. And it's like the the real answer is like in the meantime, before things do happen, you need to buy assets. Like if you don't have assets, you need to get them to not be left behind. Which kind of just further, you know, exacerbates the problem. But you gotta you gotta do it anyway I don't know how I got off on that uh, tangent I've just been watching Gary Stevenson videos and I, I thought it was interesting um, okay uh, I guess I'll try to log back in okay I'm back in um, gotta gotta be focused now gotta be focused this is this is the game Tom this is it this is where we will either go to die or go to thrive. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to thrive in Daisy. All I really want, I really want a fully kitted M4. I want a fully kitted M4 with like, you know, the mag and the, the suppressor and a sick ass scope and, and all the bullets I could ever dream of having. And then I want some night vision goggles and I want to be able to, uh, take those things and just run off. Oh boy. I want to be able to take those things back to like the forest somewhere and fuck off and build my base. Field vest. Oh, we're already getting, we're already getting some good stuff, boys. I don't know which one of these is better. Armor vest, Russian armor vest. That's part of the Ratna gear. It has a protection class six A. And then the one that I just put on was what? Oh no, I don't want to switch that. Wait, where's the one that? Oh, I didn't grab it yet. Yeah, put that bitch on. Can we take the field vest off? a ballistic protector in combat situations that seems like the right thing to have like we talked about last time though once we're here even if it's quiet you cannot let your guard down Jump up on that bitch. Mm -hmm. 
What's that? What's that gun? M110 semi-automatic sniper system is an American semi-automatic precision rifle chambered for the 308 win. What's that? Ooh, an AK-74M. Wait, do I have a... Uh, damn, I don't have a... I don't have a mag for that. Oh, it has bullets. Oh, should I take that bitch? I think I am. I think I am. Yeah. Yeah, so give me that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. I got like a fucking AK-47. Oh, look at this. A mag pouch. Now, where does that go? Do you just hold that in your... The fuck? Can I just put... Oh, damn. Now, that's dope. Look at that. How do I put my mag in it? Did that actually work? Can't put that one in it. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how this shit. I feel like that just takes more, I don't know. I'm gonna just not, not use it. Smoke grenade. Putting this bitch on full auto. Don't fuck with me. It's the same little building I died in last time. Oh, look. 30 round. 74, man. And then what kind of bullets does this thing take? 545 39s? Oh, and I got tracer rounds. Um, Hold up. Before I... Fuck myself up. Let me just. That way I got them ready to go. You know, if I need to reload, throw another mag in there, I got it. Yeah. Okay. So now we got that mag. Um, and then let's put that one. I want to actually put that one in my shit. Okay. Now I got a 30 round mag and a 26 round. I'm gonna put that in my hot bar. Don't know what that is. Boy, there is some, yep. Yeah. Five, four, five rounds, boom. Yeah, that dude last time, he was sitting right there. He was sitting right here in the corner. It's honestly a pretty good spot. I feel like if I was bored, I would do the same thing. Like literally just hide in here. Oh, I'm taking that actually. So I watched a video talking about the DMR and how it was one of the best weapons. I feel like I should just sit here. Don't you? What if I just sat right here? I know y'all can't see the um, kill feed in the top right, but there are so many good ass weapons that people have on this server. That like, even the stuff that I think is good, it just don't, it just don't matter. It don't hold a candle to what other people have here. Dude, there is so much. Okay. I'm still on the outskirts. I'm out. Ah. Ah. Okay, we're moving. 
This is it, baby. This is it. Do or die. Kill or be killed. Are we coming home with all the good shit? Or are we going to meet Jesus? I don't know. I'm trying to go back to the same... It was here, wasn't it? These are the buildings I died in last time. Yeah, I was trying to loot them. And I just got rocked. I think it was that second one. Just not expecting to see anyone. Because it was quiet, just like this. It was just like this. It was a peaceful afternoon. And then all of a sudden, gunfire erupts. Shit. So what am I going to do? Going right back. I don't give a fuck. But this time, I'm going to check the windows. Ain't nobody in this shit. Why is this door open? I mean, closed. What's that? Oh, a bottle. It's fun. Oh, what's that? A Vyga. That's a shotgun, I'm pretty sure. UTG mount. A knife sheath, tactical shirt. Oh, damn. The box 308 winner. That's what I needed for that gun. That American uh, sniper or whatever it was called. Why is that door closed? And the one on the end. Damn. Tactical vest to protect you from bullets. What does this one do? Ballistic protector in combat situations. I don't know. They both sound... Look, they do the same things. You think he's in that shit? I'm so scared. I don't want to fucking die. Kind of like that tactical black shirt. How much do I carry in the patrol jacket? 42. Okay. Universal flashlight? <laughs> you motherfucker. Okay. Damn, this is some good stuff. Road flare, tactical gloves, another combat shirt, more boxed 308 rounds. What's that? What's that? Tetracycline? Let me hold that. <clears throat> Hamad. I'm out. It's a fucking drink. 
Um, okay, so we're on the southeast side. I missed the, uh, I guess, crashed helicopter. I mean, in reality, that's that's where we want to be. Is the other side of the airfield? Oh. Is he aggroed on me? Yeah. Dang, he's a whole ass soldier, ain't he? Just fucking glitched through me. Too. I hate how you can't bandage land down. I'm sure there's a reason for that, but. That boy got a whole ass jack o' lantern on his head. What the fuck? Do I want to go that way? Care package is two minutes away from VMC. Is that the, um,. Yeah, VMC. That's the VMC military base, I think. I wish I had a sniper rifle. That seems like it would be the most, uh... The most fun around the airfield. It's finding a good sniper spot to post up. Those in go I found him I found him I don't believe it I don't believe it I got it battery powered does it have a battery in them how do I toggle night vision is it in fuck I don't know hold up I need to go to my options imagine somebody kills me controls Toggle night vision. Hold L. Oh shit. I gotta get back in the game. That shit didn't work. What if I just... Fuck. Maybe it only happens... At night? Okay. So I can look through them. I think it's just because I don't have uh, batteries in them. But you would think it would still like bring them down and just have me see black like that. I'm not totally sure, but that's fantastic. I don't know how the fuck to find a battery. If there's one thing, I, there's one thing I've never found in this game. Granted, I've only been playing for like two weeks. It's a battery. Never even seen one. Except for on that, um, that one server I played on. What's that? I don't need none of that. Okay, we're getting, we're getting to the sketch part. I'm gonna try to take the safe way around. Safe to me. Like in the woods. Care package is on its way to Novaya Petrovka. Oh boy. Here we go, huh? Oh fuck, he's aggroed on me. Huh? 
He's going around. Fuck. Damn. He just came inside like that? Fucker. I'm so fucking dead. hear stuff moving that I assume is just the zombies. But I don't want to be careless. Those are definitely zombies. been here before was that that's a zombie okay okay so there's probably there's probably no one here because of the zombies so let me move quickly while we can I'm getting good at killing them AK-74U handguard Definitely the only ones in this motherfucker. Well, come on. What is that? That's what I thought it was. Ooh. Gen 2 night vision goggles for intensifying images includes a mount system. I already got MVGs, though. Damn, that's a big-ass bag, boy. Holy shit. Do you put that on your back? <laughs> the biggest backpack this mod has ever seen. Mainly used for special transport or cross country, not recommended for casual use. You just can't hide this fucking big bag. <laughs> Yo. That's fantastic. That is for sure a big ass bag. Um, what do we got? A vicar, okay. It's another big ass backpack. 10 round DMR mag. Ooh, if I could find that. A Romanian pouch. Another soda? What's that? Damn, that's a sick suppressor. <laughs> Yo! That's dope. If I could find like an equally sick camo on a gun for that to like match. 
Cobra sites. How's that look? Nah, 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 nah. I don't want that. I don't want that. Thirty rounds of okay polymag. Okay. Hey, not bad. Oh my god. I just got kicked off again, bitch. I think I'm about to go for the main building. Even though it's gotta be one of the hottest buildings on the map. What do we play for, huh? We play for glory. Why is that zombie? Here we go, SR-25. <clears throat> 308, semi-automatic marksman rifle. This is so fucked. <laughs> Close up. We go. This just don't seem right. You see me try to juke him? <laughs> oh fuck! What is that? Box rounds, give me. Dude, if we're like, if we actually have control of this building, we're in a good spot. I've died here before after having control, but this time I feel, I dare say a little bit more prepared. I don't think I want to go all the way up top. See a zombie there. All I see are zombies, bro. I really don't hear much going on. I'm about to just start shooting guns to attract people. I, like, I wish I had so many bullets I could just fire off. Shots, let me, let me make sure I've cleared this. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately there was no um no M4 here, but I'm kinda happy with my gun situation. Not gonna lie, I know last time I played I didn't find a person, so I think I'm just gonna kinda camp around here until I spot somebody. Well, look, I'm not going to lie. It's been uh, 35 minutes and I've been patrolling the area. And besides seeing that truck, um, I just, I don't think there's anybody here. I even took my pistol out that doesn't have a suppressor and just started shooting in the air in order to try and attract anyone. But I've just been looking around here through the windows. I mean, no doors have opened up nothing I got my damn cat pulling on my stuff where's the spray bottle sometimes you guys spray him he keeps going after the wires um yeah I don't know I, I really wanted to get active I was I was ready but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it um not this time at least but hey next episode we will be spawning in at the northwest airfield and um I think given enough time for sure We'll uh, we'll find somebody here and hopefully a battery too, so I can get the um, the NVGs rocking. But hey, check the loot situation. This is really most important. Check the character right now. Come on, I got the pristine tactical helmet with the NVGs, that black fucking five eleven uh, plate vest with the 
big ass backpack on the MMG, uh, the field backpack, which is actually maxed out. I got to do some, uh, why do I have this hunting one inch main tube? Will it go on that? Oh my God. Hold up. Oh, that's kind of a sick scope for the AK. I'm not going to lie. Semi-auto. Tell me that ain't kind of a sick scope. Oh yeah. We like that. We definitely like that. Um, yeah, we got all kinds of medical supplies. Let's at least, can I pop his ass? Damn. Oh shit, that's kind of dope though. I wasted a couple bullets, but worth it. Um, okay, look, I killed somebody. Fantastic. Damn, can it kill from this range? Oh man, I hit his ass. Damn. That's kind of fun. I like when I get to shoot at stuff. I should just shoot at more zombies. That's way more fun. Um, anyway, like I was saying, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, this episode of Daisy. You know, it takes, this is a, it's a grind game. It takes a little bit to get looted up and, and get ready for the war. But I think we've, we've done that in the past um, couple episodes. So hopefully next time I can actually take down another player. I'm thinking that's still where like the best loot, you know, you kill players. That's where you get the best loot from. So got to, got to find them though. I don't know if I should leave this area or what. Let me know in the comments what the, some of the most active places are on the map besides the Northwest airfield. And I will catch you right back here next time. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always guys, I don't really ever